Hello, my friends. Welcome to another broadcast of the weekly free instant tournament on BBO. Happens every Monday, as you know. Find it under the solitaire tab. Eight deals with match point scoring. These, the broadcast happens every Monday. The, the tournament is updated every Friday, so you still have a few days to play these cards and compare your results with me if you want to, preferably without watching the video. But here we go. 17 high card points. And a one diamond opening bid. Easy rebidding clubs, regardless of what partner does. Even in this case, the double shows hearts. And so, unfortunately, there is no guarantee that partner will have both and the suits. Uh, let's say 50 years ago, the beginnings of negative doubles, that would be the case. So, But nowadays, people correctly double with, let's say, five hearts, three spades, two, three in a weekend. The double shows only hearts. And so our correct course of action, see, especially because part of might have five hearts, is to double. We double showing extras. It's not a penalty double. It is a take outage, let's call it like that. I don't have to have a singleton. I don't have to have three hearts. I would double also with two, two in the matrix. I'm just showing extras and telling partner that I don't want to quit this auction right now. And so one of the avenues possible to him is to pass, but he should have spade values and a bad hand to do that. And if he has that kind of hand, maybe three spades double is our best score, but our, our best contract. Now, three no trumps the spade stopper. I should pass here if I trusted him. I'm not sure that I trust him. The robot is very uh, psychedelic, but this is match points, I think. Passes <laughs> is okay. Yeah, exactly. He should have been four hearts with five hearts and a bad spade stopper. We are in a horrible spot and four hearts would be much better. Our double would very often deliver three hearts. That's why he should be five, four hearts. And he hasn't shown the fifth heart. Yes, a stopper is really bad opposite the projected singleton in our hand. And so he should have something like king, queen, third of spades, king, jack, third of spades, something like that. The kind of stopper that opposite that projected single. Room. From his viewpoint, when he has three spades and the opponents are bidding like this, they should have five in west, four in east, almost always. And so the singleton in my hand, from his viewpoint, is pretty clear. But enough of criticizing his auction. We will have some trouble making nine tricks here we have only five top tricks and maybe we should we'll duck a few spades but we have to consider our pitches here should we duck because that would embarrass us for pitching and ducking will often not be helpful since spades should be five four Let's try. It's always a good way when we're playing a tough hand like this to try to create a, a visualization of the opponent, the opposing shapes. So if everything is fairly balanced, which is not given, especially because they're bidding a lot, but possible. So the most balanced hand possible for them is something like five spades, two hearts, three, three in West. And this guy then would have 4333. Jumps with 4333 are not that common. So let's tweak this hand a little bit. Let's give him four spades and two hearts. That would give him a four card minor suit. I don't know which. 4243 or 4234 in East. And this guy would have a 5422. So. Or he could have both minors, four cards and both minors. That would leave him with a 5-3-2-3 three, three west. It's also possible. It's probably the most likely thing. Four, 
four. Four three in the minors for Mr. East. If he has four four in the minors, then Hearts are four one with West having four. So the big point here is uh, I would like to go after Hearts mostly because then I will not be establishing secondary tricks for them, the Queens. They have some troubles winning their Queens. So I think my best plan is to go after hearts. That, that's a plan that resigns itself to going down. I will not avoid losing probably two hearts in four space going down to. But I might get um, go down more if I lose a minor shoot queen and then I lose two hearts in, in four space. The alternative is to play for Diamond Street 3. There is a, I think I'll, I'll try to compromise. I'll try to win a heart to the king. Let's see what spade this guy will play. King. So this guy has the queen of spades. Oh, not duck. I don't want to embarrass myself for the pitches. I think that the ace of heart should be offside. So I will, I will try to to get something out of the hearts. No, he's a heart. Now he'll run, run some spades, and now I have to pitch diamonds. They still get an extra diamond uh, heart trick, and maybe an entry for a about two minutes later. We'll have another discard coming soon. And maybe if they don't let the ace, sometimes they don't, they did. Now I need to sit down and cry. <laughs> They had there was one club to scar, I think. There's no best hope for me to make extra tricks than play the King of Diamonds and a heart. And maybe somebody will be stuck with home clubs. Probably not, as you see. He had four diamonds of Green Jack. So I lost one more trick at the end. I could have made one more trick. That was quite bad. 25% is more than I deserve. Down three would be 57. Let's see how the people got. Oh, by just raising on three in a single time. I think that's inspired. Let's call it like that. Okay, board two. Board two is playing with a, we'll come back to board one, playing with a incompetent partner like the robot proved it itself to be here. Four hearts is more to recommend it, but I think it's very misguiding. And part of me even goes slam and hoping for four hearts. And double is, is a textbook. Okay, board number two, one diamond. Now we have enough for four hearts. This double doesn't guarantee hearts, although it suggests very strongly some hearts. But uh, we have enough. We should beat hearts. We have enough for game. Our hearts are bad, so we don't have enough to go slamming, I think, by beating three spades, for example. And if partner has huge trumps, it's very unlikely he will reopen since he's missing so many controls, but I'm not... Uh, Searching for slams and match points with hands like this. Very good slam. He has a max. He has much more than he might have had. Take away, take away any of his high cards, except we have the ace of hearts. Take away the king of hearts. Take away the king of diamonds. He would still double. He should double. Uh, no reason for us to believe that this guy has any side singles. 
And so he should be short in heart. So I, I don't believe. It's a bit risky for us to take Trump finesse and lose to a double from Queen when he has a void in the hands. It's not risk free, but there is no. Clubs are not <laughs> eight one or something like that. There's no reason for us to not come back to our hand and play the jack of hearts just to see what will happen. Double to Queen, how it can play. Bad score, probably another 25%. Big mountain to climb. Let's see how other people did. If they get, got to slam. Probably by bidding three spades. Or three no trumps. Who is three no trumps? Nobody got to slam and three no trumps is awful. If Parda didn't have the king of diamonds, we could go down in three no trumps instead of making an easy game with the queen of hearts upside. Imagine uh, king of diamonds on... Even with East, King Jack of Diamonds on East and Queen of Hearts on East. Awful, awful. Partner without that wonderful Jack of Spades that gives us a late stopper. Awful bid. Not regretting bidding in Hearts. I might be regretting not bidding three Spades here, but as I said, in match points, I lean towards being conservative. And so here we are. 12 high card points, balanced hand, 4 3 3 3. I would sometimes. Pass with this bad collection, but not at these colors. Not full versus wool. I think we have to, to open. And this is a much better auction for us than it would have been if it started pass one diamond, pass one spade. So we have done our job of messing their auction a little bit. And they landed in a strange contract. This guy has lots of diamonds, a lot of hearts. Partner should have five clubs, at least. We will duck the second heart because sometimes partner has a double from Jack. If he declare play the second heart, he's king of diamonds with declare void in spades. So his hand is almost certainly six five two one, and he will rough a club now. He's only club loser. And now we have to hope for a hard honor with partner to make an, an extra trick. He had that honor, but <laughs> the cleric got it right. And so now the hand is over. Let's just confirm that. Yes, he had six diamonds. So we can see. Huge hand for them. Nothing we could have done. 50%, probably flat board all around. Some jokers, three spades down two, doubled, <laughs> nice double, and ridiculous pass. Ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, let's move on. But before we move on, I'll add a word from our sponsors. Even though our sponsors, namely myself, are not shining today, we are still under average. But let me talk about the Bridge Studio. This is the address, bridgestudio.substack.com. Articles about defense, declarer play, and bidding. And lots of interesting ideas, interesting hands for all levels. And if you visit it and become a member, membership is free. If you would like to subscribe to support this publication, it's a very affordable 12 bucks, 12 American dollars per month, which is about $1 per article. Because my rate is roughly three articles per week. And so consider it, visit it, see what you think, and comment, make suggestions. It's all for the good of the game. Okay, 16 high card points. Two diamonds is majors, so two hearts is not a transfer, and it's not hearts. It's usually a stopper, and I have enough to go to three no trumps. If he's well, he's forcing us to three no trumps, and I have stoppers everywhere. So let's just bid it. 
him being a best hand, there is no reason for us to, to get creative. Interesting, we get a four four spade fit, but the major should be here is a warning to us. The name of the game is apparently to end play West. We have eight top tricks. We should cash a few diamonds, perhaps. I don't know how many diamonds this guy has. It's not a given that East doesn't have any honor in the majors. This guy could have King, Queen, King, Jack, something like that. Not a given. But there's no rush for me to to, to start and play him now. I can duck a spade from, um, from my hand, check how many diamonds he has. Only one. Okay. I'll duck a spade. I'll have end play possibilities later. See? There is the singleton spade here as expected. Heart queen is great for us because now I can get my second heart trick by force. And that's it because now he's off any end plays, but we have our nine tricks. Right. This card, he's keeping King Jack of Spades a lot of a lot of hearts. There's no way he will discard a spade on it. So nine tricks for us. Sixty-four percent, better than the first three boards for sure. Two singleton wins is cool. 6-4 is not quite uh, what I would expect from this hand, but which is on. 14 high card points, third position. Lots of people will be opening one no trump here. I am tempted to do that, even though I hate to, to hide my spades. But this is the kind of hand in which I would not like to, after one spade, one no trumps. I would like, not like to bid two diamonds. I would be he's bidding by shape and strength. And that is a big argument for opening one of Trump's with these cards. The big argument against opening one of Trump with these cards is missing a 5-3 spade fit, which is very likely. Roughly 50% of the cases partner will have a, a three-card fit with us. I like to, to open one of Trump when I am stretching. So almost... I don't like to open it with a max, if it's 16 or 17, but with 14, I will do it. That will make it easier for us to get to a borderline game. And one factor that, that I didn't consider, but I always uh, look at, is whether I have two or three cards in the other major, because that enables us to, to play in an eight-card field if partner transfers. So four hearts it is. I'm being very aggressive, I know. <laughs> I'm accepting an invitation with 14, but this is top notch 14. Aces and kings. I can't contain myself. And I need some good boards also. Okay, we have a nice lead that enables us to discard a club. If Pays are three three. Nope, a rough interest. So now we are in bad shape. Unless there is a mighty crash. Wow, hearts five zero. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Hearts five zero will be hard to to survive in any case. Okay, so now I can draw trumps and cash my diamonds. Last trump is there, down one. Horrible defense, but my overbidding put us overboard. If I were in three hearts, I would have a top. Go figure. 
not an inspired tournament so far. 15 high card points. One heart, open bid. And now I'll pass. At last, I'll pass. <laughs> Fifteen and nine. Partner has a max. I should bet this. Just because of okay. Nice, nice going. Now we can pretty much draw trumps. That will good for us. Good stop there. there. Yes. Again. Now I lose a chunk in a club. Losing one more trick. That's bound to be a good score at last. 75%. Okay. Good for us. Clawing back to over average. <laughs> this is not a tournament which I'll win, but we are clawing back to average. Board seven is a good point for another word from our sponsors, which is Will Sonovich Bridge Services. That is blind Brian Blue Box. This guy here, most of you know him. Bridge Agency providing services for players of all levels. With great pros, if you go here, Bob Hammond, Joe Grew, excellent players are in our roster of pros. And we have all kinds of services. You see here what we can do for you in many kinds of um scenarios so get in touch if you want to if you're ready to give your game a big boost with excellent pros now board seven i have 13 i got points so one time we can give and a pass uh, two diamonds is tempting but balanced hands should be fair. If they were not vulnerable, I would bid. Or if I were not vulnerable. But with everybody vulnerable, the chances that we can get 200, or that we can get 100, but only 90 in two diamonds are considerable. So both vulnerable is a defense situation. You know, duck. And okay, we will establish our diamonds. Then we have five tricks, one of the kings at least, plus four diamonds. We still have our jack of clubs. Partner discarded the spade. I don't want to embarrass partner. I hate to embarrass partner. Let's think about what partner I have. Nothing in clubs and diamonds. He should have one order in each card, in each suit. In cash one diamond, just to let partner know that I had it all. Eight of hearts this card. Let's catch the other one. I'm embarrassing Clara too. In our spade. And now he comes back with a heart, as he should. He can probably make two more tricks the King of Hearts and the Jack of Clubs. Lester Clare has a lot of high spades. Not impossible. Yes, here it is a lot of high spades, but still, it's one down. I might have shifted to a heart instead of a club. But anyway, this is 89%. And here we are above average, 51%. And we still have a one deal to, to go. Interesting deal. 
It's 19 hacker points, no hard stopper, no spade support. It's a very heavy to diamond overall. Very often this will wear the auction. And that's fine. I probably need some kind of fit. That 10 of hearts is an unlucky card for us because that means that no Trump would play well. Seven and four, so that probably means a double team. Should be rough? No, I don't, I don't think. Let him rough. Hope that that is from a Trump trick. Partner has an ideal hand for us both. Black Kings and the no, the King of Clubs, not the Queen. Now I can claim he didn't have a Trump trick, but there was a promotion anyway. 96%. That was a very surprising success for conservatism in the final board. Why are them? And we finished with a not shameful 56%. Definitely some nice choices in the last few boards, but I can see the results of the other tables here. I don't know why. Let me see if we can see it here. Uh, I'm curious to see how people dealt with this last hand. Lots of two diamonds, but why are they not winning as many tricks as I do? I did. I'm, I'm just finessing in diamonds. They are roughing high, probably. And so, but if you rough high, you exchange one for another because you'll make your four clubs. You pitch a club, and then you finesse the queen instead of the ten. That's lazy, since he should have King Jack from his bidding, especially once West shows the queen of space. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.